All right, guys, I want to sit here and answer a question today um, because it's something that I get asked so many times. And it's not that, it's not as if it's irritating or annoying to me. I kind of chuckle at it because a lot of people don't think that it's actually possible. And that is, how have I become such a profitable trader and consi you know, continuously or consistently uh, be profitable and making, you know, earning money or making money in my trading each and every day? Um, yes, it is possible. And I think a lot of people who think that, it is not possible is because they simply do not know how to trade the correct way or don't have a solid, say, for instance, strategy or haven't really spent much time, um, you know, or have much experience in the market. So I'm going to talk about pretty much three things that has allowed me over time to be profitable each and every day and the things I actually do to be profitable each and every day. What's the important uh, keys to be, uh, to uh, being profitable each and every day okay so just sit back watch the intro and we're going to jump right into that video right now so let me tell you or talk to you about the uh important things or the keys that has allowed me or allows me to continue to be profitable each and every day. And number one, I'm going to talk to you about that is you must have a strategy. I say this all the time on my videos, guys, is that um, if you do not have a developed strategy, one that you are maybe uh, that you have learned from someone else or one that you actually are put together for yourself, you know, uh, based on, you know, experience of going back and studying uh, your charts or whatever the case is. Um, and understanding how the market actually moves because yes the market's always changing but you have to be able to devise a strategy that works each and every day regardless of the market conditions okay because the market again like I said it is always changing all right the strategy is the key all right and without a strategy you will not be able to uh, make money and be profitable each and every day my first two years, I said this before many times again, um, is that I was not profitable. I was trying everything um, under the sun, uh, various strategies from things I've saw online or even out of books, whatever the case is, and they just didn't work for me. Not to say that it may not work for you, but maybe I just didn't put in enough time and patience sticking with one strat uh, strategy. A lot of traders, what they do is they'll try a strategy out and then they'll jump and they'll jump and they'll jump. Uh, because they're not seeing fast uh, uh, in a results fast enough okay and I think that uh, most people who start off trading the thing is about uh, they, they lack is being patient okay and I, I talk about that in a lot of videos is that a person must be able to have patience in this business if you want to be able to succeed and that was one of my downfalls at the beginning was not being uh, um, patient enough to be able to see things through okay I was probably like most traders at the beginning I, I you know I wanted to not to say find a fast way out wasn't about that but I wanted to kind of um, move at a faster pace to get to where I want to be and that was becoming a good trader or a great trader right we all want to get there but and looking back now at you know the over time of where I was at to where I'm at today I, I understand now that patience is everything consistency is everything you know um, you have to be able to control your inner self you know the psychological piece okay um, so I wasn't patient enough sticking with one particular strategy that maybe I had learned and I'm not saying that those strategy all of them worked out um, because you know there's a lot of stuff that's put out there on the internet that people grab hold to that just simply do not work out um, so I tested things and it didn't work out sometimes it worked like 50% of the time, 60% of the time, whatever the case is. And some people are okay with that, you know. I guess if they take one trade or two trades a day and then they are able to make, you know, large profits, whatever the case is, um, and then the next day they may have a loser. My thing is I wanted to devise and come up with a strategy that was going to allow me to be consistent each and every day. Not just a hit or miss situation, I was able to profit two days and do well. Third day I took a major loss, whatever the case is, that cut into my profits. The fourth day I had to pretty much uh, – play catch me up to try to make my profits back I, I wanted to find something that I, I could actually trade that would actually work for me each and every day okay and those that have been watching the channel those that know me in regards to the content that I put out and been watching the videos in our own discord and have joined the discord community you all know that I'm a future trader and how I trade is what you guys can answer that question right now most of you all of you I trade supply and demand and it wasn't until I understood supply and demand 
um, and how to actually trade it or what it really was and you know and look at the market and being able to identify those key points in the market where supply or demand rest at that's what the kind of the turning point for me I knew at that point okay I understand supply and demand but now it was all then it was all about trying to uh, devise a strategy that would that would work you know and most people know about pullback trading and things like that but I kind of took that to a, to the next level um, and using pair charts which most traders do they try to you know it's it, regardless of the strategy they use you always want to look at a higher time frame and kind of scale down but I I, I kind of took it a step further and I, I took it to a point to where supply and demand on one chart okay using that as a point of reference scaling down looking for the repeat setup or process to happen you know and then marking a supply and demand level off of my, my lower time frame as well with price come back to it so I, I kind of you know uh, not say manipulated my charts in a sense but kind of to devise a, a strategy that uh, worked hand in hand off of one chart paired with another chart and I just kind of kept back testing and back testing and back testing and I saw that it was working and uh, I started you know demoing and simulation trading it over and over and over for many many months and then I was consistent with it and that's where I knew I was ready to step over but again like I'm saying one the key point probably the most important part thing uh, I, well I say one of the most important point of things uh, to understand um, if you want to be a profitable trader uh, is being uh, is, is having a strategy okay without a strategy it's a game changer and you will not win okay you will lose each and every day all right and I will also say this because um, I get asked this is it okay to have multiple strategies depending on the person some people are okay you know depending on what they see going on in the market they may say hey I want to trade or use this strategy based upon uh, what's going on in the market now with the, the setup I, I see maybe a head and shoulder type setup or whatever the case is or you know whatever whatever it may be the setup that you you know those those um, patterns that you see in the market whatever the case is you may have certain strategies that work according to what the market is actually doing uh, at any given point okay for me I wanted to have one single strategy that I could use that I can stick with that I can learn that I can master and make it part of my uh, my journey you know and carry it forward going forward and it works it's been working for the last eight years for me you know yes the markets are evolving and sometimes you kind of have to just you know uh, wait for the setup whatever the case is and sometimes that setup even though that setup might be there it may not provide uh, enough area or room for me to be able to trade from so I just pass it up sometimes I pass a lot of trades up okay but what I'm simply saying is number one have a solid strategy okay because without it you would not succeed you've got to have a, a strategy that's made part in place or made part of your trading plan okay your trading plan is like your 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 Bible in a sense the, the routine structure or schedule you're going to follow your you know the steps you're going to follow each and every day as you um, before you get into the market and while you're in the market okay follow each and every day be consistent with your strategy is what I'm trying to say all right number two that that is going into the next part what I, what I was going to say um, being consistent okay that's pretty much being uh, put the strategy to work and don't deviate from it be consistent and structured with your strategy each and every day all right if it works like I always say most people always say, say it at the same time is that if it's not broke then don't try to fix it if it's making you money and you're earning profits don't try to fix it okay yes the market evolves but you have to evolve as a trader with the market and you know uh, just wait for the opportunities to wait for the higher probability trade setups and wait for the more opportune uh, areas to trade within a strategy is going to work if it, if it works today it's going to work tomorrow it's going to work the next day whatever the case is now um, that going back to what I was saying before some people use certain strategies for certain setups or patterns in the market based on what the market's doing. All right. But for me, I'm simply trading around supply and demand. So I'm simply just looking for supply and demand areas, those high probability or opportunity areas where just uh, where I see um, for one, like I talk about all the time, I have to see, you know, that structure break, uh, a gap in the market and price creating an area of supply and demand. And if price hasn't retested, hasn't tested, it means the untested zone. I, those are the areas I'm looking for. Okay. So that has allowed me and provided me the opportunity to be consistent in my trading and using my strategy each and every day so if the strategy works consistency will follow okay and you must be consistent in your trading do not deviate from your trading um, strategy okay don't do it all right so let's talk about the third thing as traders each and every day we have to do what uh, and over time just month to month year to year the market is always doing something it's always evolving it's educating yourself all right 
What happened today in the market may not happen tomorrow. What happened tomorrow? What happens tomorrow is not may not happen next week. The market is always evolving and changing. All right, it's always doing that. So as we as traders, we have to do what just as well. We have to evolve. We have to adapt to the situations that we see going on in the market. Um, and sometimes that may even be the fact that you may need to change your strategy slightly, whatever the case is. But for me personally, I haven't had to change or kind of tweak my strategy. Um, you know, I just wait like. If price taps into an area of supply and demand, and I'm, you know, um, you know, following course as far as what I need to do when price taps in that area of supply and demand, you know, when I'm scaling down to my next level chart, and I'm looking for a repeat process to happen, meaning structure break pull back to, you know, a a demand or supply area off of the lower time frame chart. I stick with that. That's routine. I I, I talk about that to in, in many of my videos to uh, try to express it and, and put it out there for new traders. Um, because it actually works. It's just you have to understand the opportunity areas, the areas that make more sense to trade from. And you have to, and the bigger side of that is understanding what's going on behind closed doors. The market is painting a picture. And if you understand when you're looking at certain movements in the market, especially when you have big thrusts, you know, price coming out of a, a, a swing to the downside or swing to the upside where there's aggressive selling and buying, you got to understand what's going on there and uh, behind closed doors, whatever the case is, and understand that, okay, this is happening right now. I see this big, you know, aggressive selling area, a big uh, aggressive buying area, whatever the case is, you have to th logically think, hmm, I wonder, did all those orders get filled? More than likely not. And I talk about that, you know, lots of times because price moves away so quick from a certain area, whatever the case is, and, and the banks and institutions are trying to fill, cram those orders in, then they're all going to get filled. So they're going to get, they're going to wait for a second opportunity for price to come back there to try to, um, you know, price gets back to an area of supply to move the market back down lower again. A price gets back to an area of demand to push the uh, gets back there to you know fill orders and and the market go back up or you know go, goes higher again or pushes up whatever case is. But again, um, yes, you have to continue educating yourself and understanding market structure and being able to uh, evolve as a as a trader as the market is a, is evolving because it's constantly doing something different each and each and every day. But like I said, some people have to kind of tweak their strategy um, depending on, you know, the market conditions today may not be the same tomorrow. Uh, but for me, supply and demand is supply and demand. It's just all about being able to locate it and understand what's going on, you know, behind the scenes. You know, what's going on at those opportune areas? What's going on, on the, at those areas where prices, you know, quickly push through structure or broke through levels at a, a quick pace? And it's just like, Red candle, red candle, red candle, red candle, one after another, and all that aggressive selling straight to the downside, which just kind of seems like a burst of action, uh, either upside or downside. You know, it could be a bunch of green candles at, coming out of a swing, breaking through major, breaking, breaking through structure or breaking through levels real quick. You have to understand what's going on there and who is actually making that happen. You know, it's not us as retail traders uh, driving or pushing the market. You know, you have to understand that there's bigger money uh, in that big sea or big ocean uh within the market itself and who's putting that money in there you know and causing that the the, the market to um move the way it does and as retail traders we want us want to we want to trade and along with the bigger fish in the, in the in the uh in the big sea or the big ocean or whatever the case it is so that's just kind of the, the things the three things that i would point out to you that have really allowed me to be consistent is my strategy all right um a lot of people believe that you know oh how can someone be profitable and be consistent each and every day. I'm sure you have losing trades. Yes, people do have losing trades. Yes, I do have losing trades, but I minimize my losses. I've learned and know what's going on in the market. And I say this over and over again, before you get into a trade, what? You must quickly know where to get out at in both ends. Me and the market comes back against you. You need to know where to get out at so you don't lose much or minimize your, your you know, minimize your, your loss uh, or minimize the loss. And then the flip side of that, if you, you know, looking to take profit at a certain area, you must know before you get into that trade where to take profit at, you know, based upon price action. Okay, based upon looking at the market and, and seeing what the market has uh, painted for you, you know, the picture, the market structure, what what's going on as price is making its movements and it gets back to that zone that you're so eagerly waiting for it to get back to and price project that area. What's going to happen next? Do I have enough room to trade from? Where do I need to get in the trade at? Where should I put my stop? You know, where should I... Uh, position my stop at if I place a manual stop or if if, if you you know have a, have a mental stop and you've got your finger on the button to close the trade out whatever the case is it doesn't matter all I'm simply saying is you must know where to get in and where to get out before you actually get in or place a trade all right that's one thing so strategy 
consistency, strategy, consistency, and also continuously educating yourself in reference to uh, the market's conditions. The market's always evolving, okay? All right. So that's just kind of the three things that have allowed me, three most important things that have allowed me to continuously and consistently be profitable each and every day. And you guys can do it just as well. Uh, trust me that, okay? There are there are traders who are part of our Discord community that actually are uh, I'm phenomenal traders, I must say. There are lots of traders in there that are phenomenal traders and um um uh, you know, prior to even watching, you know, joining the community, whatever the case is, some of them already had experience in the markets and uh, maybe they gained some edge in watching the videos. Only you would know. And that's why I invite you guys in to come over and join the Discord community. All you have to do is find, uh, uh, click on the link down in the description portion of the video below. Click on it. It's free of charge to join our Discord community. We are approaching almost 600 members now. And if you join the Discord community, as I said, it's free of charge. Um, you can come over if you got if you're a new trader or whatever the case is or someone that's looking to get into trading as long as you are you know we're, we're future traders okay so everything talked about and discussed is surrounding the future market so if you're a future trader uh, you can come over or maybe someone that's really not knowing which way or which 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 way you want to go maybe you're like ah, I'm on the fence of being an option trader or fence on of becoming a future trader or I'm just interested in trading right now but I don't I don't know which direction I want to go uh, maybe forex you just don't know well you can join and figure out if future if future is the market for you or not. Um, you would definitely probably learn a few things and join the community because um, you can ask questions on our general question uh, channel. Got questions about the future markets, whatever the case is, you can ask. That's what it's there for. The general. I'm gonna show you guys that right now. Let me go ahead and pull that up so you know what I'm talking about while I'm talking about it right here. So let's pull that up. This is our trading uh, our Discord community right here, and I said this is the general chat channel where uh, anyone who's a future trader or interested in trading futures, you can come in and ask questions pertaining to the future markets. So that's what this channel is set up for. Uh, as well as we have a trading floor channel, and it's pretty much primarily for uh, traders that are actually trading, you know, the session, Monday through Friday. So uh, basically, you know, this is a channel set up to where we share our levels of interest, our zones, trade entries. So we're continuously talking amongst ourselves as traders each and every day during the session providing information to other traders as the, uh, the market is open, okay? So if you're interested in joining our community, simply find the link down in the description portion of the video below. And that's pretty much it. That's all I want to talk to you guys today about was just, you know, letting you guys know that it is not questionable in any form, way, or fashion uh, to become a profitable trader. People are profitable each and every day. It's about managing risk, managing your, having trade, uh, great trade management skills and great risk management skills as well. It is, trust me, people each and every day are profitable um, and don't have any losing trades. My uh, uh, saying or um, motto or however you want to say it is um, be green every day and not be red. You know, I believe that traders should be green each and every day. You know, not say that you may not have a losing trade, okay, because we all take losing trades. From time to time, you see me, I'll take, I have, you know, I'll get out of a trade and I'll lose a few ticks, whatever the case is, and I'm, that, that happens, okay? Um, and lots of times I won't wait for price to come back and and, 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 and to an area where I know I should get out at or, 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 or if I had a hard stop where it's going to stop me out at. I'll jump out the market prior to that because I know I can see the market is, all right, it's not moving in my favor. Let me go ahead and get out because it's not moving quick enough. And that's how I get out of the market. If it is teetering around once I got to a trade and doesn't quickly go up to the area uh, to hit my profit targets, whatever the case is, I'm out, all right? I'd rather take a few ticks lost than take you know, a few points lost, whatever the case is. So, but at the end of the day, I truly believe that you should be green each and every day. It is highly possible. It is definitely possible for traders to be green each and every day. Again, you, you have to learn how to manage risk, know when to jump out. Um, and if you're experienced, if, the more you trade, the more you, be, you the, better, the better you become, the more you become experienced at trading, and you will be able to read almost like a like, uh, look at the charts and read it as if it was a book to understand what the market is trying to accomplish, know where to get out at to minimize your loss. And if you take a, have a losing trade where you lost a few ticks, you're going to be able to your next trade, make that up real quick and make even more profit. So I'm just going to leave you guys with that. But yes, that is the keys of how I um, each and every day or, you know, how I'm such a, I have become such a profitable trader is um, following one, having a strategy, two, 
making sure I'm consistent each and every day and not deviating away from my, my strategy. That's the most, that's the, that's probably the most important thing is really do not deviate away from your strategy. If it works, stick with it. Okay. And then always, always, just like everything else in life, we are always continuously learning, you know, whether, you know, you had a profession doing something in your professional life, whatever the case is, you're always learning, you know, business always change. You know, your boss may need for you to go take another training course, whatever the case is, because uh, they're headed in a different direction now. The same thing with the markets. You have to, it's, 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 a, it's not saying cycle, but it's always changing and evolving. So us as traders, we have to be able to adapt with what's going on in the market. That's all I have for you guys today. I appreciate you uh, watching today's video. Uh, if you are a newcomer and your first time viewing here in the channel, please take the time to click on the red subscribe button, click on the bell next to it, turn your post notifications on so that you never miss one of the uploads here on the channel. Those of you who have already subscribed and you are part of the community, part of the team here, uh, I appreciate you guys supporting the channel. I really do. But that's all I have for you guys today. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.